I'm here today at Nair Reed's headquarters with Chris Mackey, Senior Real Estate Strategist with the CoStar Group. Thanks for joining us today, Chris. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. First, let me ask you, what type of impact will the federal budget cuts have on commercial real estate? Well, you know, that's a question I get asked a lot. And it's important, first of all, to understand some of the facts. Well, the federal budget has tripled from 1969 to 2009. Federal payrolls have actually shrunk by 30%. So what that means is that a lot of those federal dollars that were part of that tripling of the federal budget went to the private sector. As a result of this, as we cut back federal spending, that means there's going to be a far greater impact on private sector jobs than many people realize. That definitely will have an impact on the commercial real estate industry. So that leaves us with the next question that a lot of people are asking is, how is corporate America going to react to these budget cuts? Do you think that corporate America will reduce their hiring because of the budget cuts? I'm not sure. It all hinges on why corporate America has been restrained in their hiring to date. Some people think it's been because of the anemic demand and therefore there's been no need to hire people. Other people think it's because of the profligate spending on the part of government, so corporations have been saving their nickels and dimes in anticipation of higher taxes. If they believe it's because of the profligate spending, we should see a significant increase in hiring because government is sending the right signals. However, it's because of, if it's because of reduced demand, we probably won't see an uptick because we're losing $2.7 trillion of spending from many corporations' largest customer. Are there sectors whose recovery efforts may be hampered more than others due to the budget cuts? Well, you know, it's interesting. We don't know the details of the budget cuts yet, so we're not sure exactly who's going to get hit the hardest. What I can say is this. If we look at some of the areas of the country and their exposure to, for example, the defense industry, we can see certain areas that you would all anticipate, like Washington, D.C., Norfolk, Virginia, that have a high exposure to the defense industry. But there are many other markets, San Antonio, San Diego, Baltimore, other markets, Tampa, that have a high exposure to the defense industry that will also feel a greater impact than some people realize. But beyond that, we're just going to have to wait and see where the cuts are to see who gets hit the hardest. How about trends and issues? What would you say are some of the most pressing issues in the commercial real estate market today? Well, you know, I have a proposal. At this point in the commercial real estate cycle, I think we, could sh we should change from location, location, location to jobs, jobs, jobs. There are some other issues out there to hiccup in the CMBS market. But the key issue right now, right now for our industry truly is the jobs issue. We live and die based on the rest of the economy. And the rest of the economy is driven by jobs. So that really is the primary issue for us at this point in the commercial real estate cycle. Thank you for joining us, Chris. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. I'm Carissa Chappelle for REIT.com.